Hey guys, what's up? It's Teradog. Welcome back to GT Sport. So for today's video, I'm actually going to review the new Supra. And I totally was not planning on doing this before. But um, I'll get to why I'm actually going to review it later on in the video. You know, I'm not really a Supra fan, but I do recognize that, hey, it's a decent car. It was, the Supra was always a really decent sports car. But um, I'm not comparing the new model to the old model. I'm not saying, you know, I'm not going to get into how it's got a BMW engine or whatever and all the implications of that. I'm just going to look at this, you know, just the car itself, how does it feel to drive and race it? You know, as a sports car. That's a funky line there. That's what happens when I talk while driving. I'm driving fast. All right. So, um, so yeah. Before I get into some racing, some actual racing, and this VR drive where the guy goes real slow and it's put all throttle in. Um, before we get into some slightly more hardcore racing, uh, let's take a moment and just like appreciate um, the visuals, the details of the interior of this model. Let's get on with the race. Alright, so here we are in a GT League event. And uh, the car is entirely unmodified. So that I could, you know, review it properly. Um, the event allows for sport soft tires, but as you'll see at the bottom of your screen, I'm still using sport hard tires because that's what came with the car. The only thing I did to mess with anything was I turned off the traction control because um, I don't like tr I don't like having traction control interfere with uh, with my driving so um, yeah all right so that still doesn't answer the question why am I uh, why am I even bothering to review this car when it is old news if anything you would think that I would be singing polyphony digital's praises who are finally implementing a rain, even if it's only on two sets of tracks, and also entirely unavailable in VR mode. Not that it would matter, because the dumbed down physics in VR mode would mean that the rain wouldn't really make much difference, like the way it works nicely in a lobby. But I digress. Uh, let me get to the main point here. So, I logged into my game this morning. Thought, yeah, let me see what kind of races or events, time trials, whatever, are available. And I got hit with all the update notes about the rain. And then there was this one other thing. I said, hey, do this survey. That's right. Asking me to do a survey, and um, I was like, "What, really?" So um, apparently, 
There is a survey you can do. You go into the information in the bottom of your home menu, or the news or whatever you call it, and yeah, the news, you're looking into the information, and there is a survey you can get into. You can only get into it if you either own a Supra, a new Supra, that is, the GR Supra, or if you are competing in the FIA GR Supra Cup. And you just do the survey, it takes about five minutes, and then you get a special, I believe it was a Nurburgring 24 hours livery for the Supra. So it was like, yeah, I mean, even though I'm pretty much probably not going to drive this car very much at all because I do most of my races in sport mode and they almost never have, you know, cars that aren't full on race cars to choose from, except for when right after an update when they're featuring those brand new road cars in some kind of one-make event or something like that because I don't do the FIA events because my schedule just doesn't work with FIA schedule so uh, but I figured you know what I went delivery so alright so my thoughts on the car well first I want to take a moment and appreciate how it's almost even with the FD. So the new Supra has a 50-50 front wear weight distribution just like the FD. It does however lack downforce but I'm racing against AI so I'm still going to pass him anyway. Okay now that that FD is out of the way so much for door-to-door -door excitement. I'll ask about max speed. And, well, I don't know. It doesn't really seem relevant to me. It's in the uh, 300 horsepower class of cars, the N300 class. And so it's going to have a max speed indicative of that power level. Um, it gets the job done. You know, normally max speed isn't an issue for me. I'm not sure why. I feel like that's not really something you can answer with a race. It's just, it's your opinion. Um, acceleration, it felt really nice coming out of the corners. Again, that 50-50 weight distribution, it just feels good to drive. Uh, braking, you know, I had some thoughts that maybe the braking could be a little bit better, but then again, given what it is, given the tires I drove it on, I'm actually feeling pretty good about the braking. And then I was asking about the traction. Well, again, I kind of equate that to the cornering, acceleration, braking. It's pretty much everything. And it also asked about overall handling. So I'm not really sure as well as stability. They're kind of all sort of the same thing in their own way. The car is nice to drive. As you can see, it's pretty well balanced. Again, 50-50 weight distribution does wonders for it. Um, you know, you're, you're not going to have a hard time with it unless you're being an absolute hoonigan. And even then, it's pretty forgiving. You know, just typical rear-wheel drive stuff what you, would, what you would expect um, did ask about interior and exterior now what can I say about the interior well now that we're in the higher res interior compared to what I was what we had in VR <laughs> I thought VR would be more interesting and um, oh well um, really what I notice is a lot of the detail is kept into that driver cockpit area. You know, in some of the other models, like the classic supermodel, you know, you can look over and see the funky 90s style seats. I don't know how else to describe it. It's, it's just, there's a style, there's that, that pattern to it. Um... 
the one gripe I have is with the exterior. A lot of the time when I'm watching myself from an exterior camera in this race, I end up mixing up which car is mine because of that classic Supra that is the same color. And I see that first and I'm like, oh, that's me. And then I realize, oh wait, no, that's not me. I'm the one that looks kind of sort of like a BMW. Yeah. But um, all of that, um, all of that aside, how is the car on its own as a sports car? Not even, you know, the super name aside, how would I rate this overall? It is fun to drive, and it's a driver's car. I'll just leave it at that. So you can toss it around the corners. It's pretty forgiving, but you can also just have fun with it, and it's great. So yeah, I'll just leave you to enjoy the end of this race. And that will be all. And again, if you want to get your hands on what should be a very cool livery for a Supra, go ahead and buy the car and do the survey. The car is only 100,000 credits. That's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.